my, so much black slime. Oh, it just seems like a lot because it's alive. The column, it's flowing upwards. If you see a big yellow eye in there, poke it with something. No yellow eye, Ray. Maybe it already went up there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Is it my turn to lead? I don't want to jump in front. Hello, Chairman. Ready to get what's coming to you? <laughs> Kidnapping is a class one felony, and we do not tolerate it in our jurisdiction. Get him! It's gotta have a weak spot somewhere! Whites on their eyes, kid. On their left! Yes, yeah, I'm gonna need another shot. Find some cover. 
You've got him on the ropes! scientific interest. Ah, oh, he got me. 
Look behind you. To the right. Keep it up, Scoop. Over here. Up high! Almost there. Oh. I should have shuttered you fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. 
I'm shutting down your containment grid for good. You can kiss off a permanent license, not to mention any chance for more government contracts. You did this to me. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you pack. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. The whole city will have to pay because of your shenanigans. The whole city. What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No. I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. You're real heroes. Kind of routine. As usual, I led the charge. <laughs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus of the city does not count as a floating holiday. I know. I looked it up. Does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. Mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clear. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman. Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know, plenty of bodies in that river could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're gonna go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room, 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could, and then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. 
Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. place where any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's just a hobby now. Closed until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. But now, hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. They'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thing. Hmm. This is disappointing. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hank. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered bases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600 square foot walk up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. It's an ambush! Get them hot! Wait a minute, wait. I don't think they're a threat. They may only be residual hauntings. I think Ray is right. They haven't crossed entirely into this dimension. They're just psychokinetic echoes. Ghosts of ghosts. Completely harmless. Great. I was hoping to meet a friendly ghost someday, but I'll settle for harmless right now. I'm getting a strong valence spike higher up in the building. Alyssa said she was called to the 12th floor. Let's start there. Come on, kid. Nothing. They'd have shut down the power when they closed. Can we take the stairs? Well, we can try climbing, but the last time we were here, a level three animator took out the bottom of the staircase. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you weren't here last time, Winston. So no stairs, no elevators. Did you hear something? Over there. Come on. I think we're dealing with a level 5 anchored ambusher. Be careful. It went into the stairwell. We've got it cornered. Help! This is just how a level 5 anchored ambusher lures you in. The manager? What are you doing here? Ghosts. Monsters. Everywhere. There was another voice. A woman screamed. Are you alone in here? Look, I just said ghosts and monsters everywhere. Does that sound like I'm alone? He meant people. Then yes. I think so. <coughs> well, I guess that explains it. Sir, there's no need to fear. These are just shadows, echoes of actual ghosts. They can't hurt you. Come with us, sir. We can lead you to safety.
someone you know? I don't know. Most of the old staff knows the story of the Spider Witch, a professional widow who did unimaginable things in a room on the 12th floor back in the 1920s. What are you still doing here? Why didn't you evacuate with everyone else? I came back last night to retrieve some payroll records, but the hotel won't let me out. The door's shut on me, and the phones are down too. That means we're trapped now too, and we have to hope that Peter figures out we're missing. There goes a weekend. Not necessarily. The 12th floor is apparently the core of this node. If we can get the power back on, we can take the elevators. If the elevators don't eat us. Yes, if the elevators don't eat us. Where are the circuit breakers for this place? We don't have a lot of time. Breakers? In my office. But the city came and turned off most of our power after the electrical fire on the third floor. There's no way to turn it back on from here. That's inconvenient. We've got to find some way to get the elevators moving. There's a backup generator in the utility room, off the kitchen. It's for emergency blackouts. Perfect. Let's give it a try. To the kitchen. I guess some of them apparently culminate to this plane that doesn't seem like they're bad. Right. Now, let's find that backup generator. The kitchen! Is it through here? <coughs> yes, just down the hall. Anyone there? All right, guys, spread out. The utility room should be around here somewhere. In some dark, scary corner. I know I've said this before, but be careful. I don't think we're alone. Did you and Vinkman do all this when you were chasing Slimer? No, this is a lot worse than they left it. This is the work of something big. When you say big, do you mean big, big? Mm -hmm. At the very least, maybe even bigger. That sounds good. Like the manager said there was a generator room around here somewhere. Look for a door. It has to be around here somewhere. Keep an eye out for a sign.
Look, Cadet found the emergency generator. Look around for a switch or something to start it up. What's it look like? Probably like a switch or something that would start up a generator. All right, Egon, but you should know I'm keeping score. What did I say? There's a lot of water on the floor. Watch out for static discharge when you activate the generator. You mean to say he could be electrocuted after the power's back on? Could happen. Outside chance. Ah, sweet music. I'd recommend not stepping in that water. That sounds like an excellent recommendation. Looks like that power cable is causing all the fun. Get it out of the water, then. I know this much. We're trapped down here like rats if we can let cables out of the water. How about some slime tethering? Come on, kid. The elevators should be working, unless something... Never mind, let's get back to the lobby. Listen, what's that smell? Over there, come on. Look out, it's the late shift. Yeah, but this is just a help. Where's the boss? I can't believe I just said that out loud. I know that guy. It's the mass poisoner, Chef de Forest. So nobody eat anything in here, even if you're really hungry. I'm about to swallow my own tongue, Ray. Would that be okay? Scan it for the spirit guy. Help me! It's a whole swarm. 